Hey guys, welcome to our stateroom. Come on in. We are Amanda and Justin with Barretto's on the Loose, and we're currently aboard the Carnival Spirit on an eight-day Alaskan cruise out of Seattle, Washington with our daughter, Madison. Today, we're giving you a tour of our stateroom 4223. Let's go take a look. Let's start with some quick A&J fun facts. Our room is about 185 square feet, and it's located on the starboard side of the ship. That is the right side if you weren't sure. So the port side is the left side, starboard is the right side. And the way we remember that is because port is four letters and so is the word left. Here we have our king size bed, which is actually two twin beds pushed together. There are also two nightstands, one on each side, as well as a lamp on each side. The nightstand does have cabinet space below, but we actually don't use it just because we're worried we might put something there and then for, totally forget about it when we're packing up. Over here is the sofa sitting area. There's a coffee table right here. Uh, we use it for Madison's toys. There's the beach towels that came with our room. There's a light right there. Obviously the ship is old because that is coming off. Uh, let's step back, show you that there are drawers underneath the couch and it's a little difficult to open, but uh, we're storing some shoes in there. Mm, it's hard to close it. <laughs> and then let's move this table out of the way. And we have another drawer. Oh, it's hard to open. I guess there's some extra bedding, pillows. Here we have our vanity and there's a nice Space to get ready. The vanity has a good set of lights for us ladies to get ready in. You know, if we have to take a selfie, the lighting helps. <laughs> and there's some cabinets and drawers. Let's see what's in cabinet number one. So there's a shelf in there and you can, you know, store shoes or in this case, we're storing some camera gadgets. In this cabinet we have our refrigerator so far all we have in here are the bottle of wine and champagne that we brought that was allowed the room comes with two glasses for our wine and of course they have some water bottles that you can use and then pay about four bucks each for but instead we uh, ordered ahead a bunch of cases of water bottles there's one, there's a bunch in the closet. They gave us two masks <laughs> for our room to use out and about on the ship. We have our safe in this cabinet right here. And right above it is our TV. Looks like it's a 32 inch. And the lights in the room go all the way around. So there's definitely no shortage of light around here. There are two outlets. One is a 110 volt and the other is a 220 volt. And since there is a shortage of outlets around here, we bring along our power strip, which has an extension cord if needed. And we use this to plug in all of our chargers, you know, for our phone. This is also for us ladies where we would plug in our hair appliances to get ready. So now here we have a drawer where you know you can put your makeup or whatever right now we're storing Madison's beanies and other things um, there's the phone in this drawer we have uh, the blow dryer that came with the room of course and this tiny little space that we just yeah. threw Justin's uh, elegant yeah. night ties yeah. and then these drawers down below oh, there's one for Justin one for me one for Madison here we have the closets Let's see what's inside door number one. So these closets are pretty nice. They're, uh, we have three of them, floor to ceiling, and we have a body mirror inside. So this closet right here has shelves and like a small rail if you want to hang things, but it's kind of useless. So we're just, you know, putting our shoes and our compression cubes and some clothing we've unpacked. 
in closet number two, we have a nice space to hang up our clothes. We have our hamper and more shoes. So because this is an Alaskan cruise, obviously the clothing here is sweaters, long sleeves, jackets, unlike a Caribbean cruise. And the third one, life jackets up here that came with the room, obviously, and more jackets and hoodies and clothes and our extra backpack. And we keep our extra waters down here. So this is pretty nice because we are traveling with a toddler, Alaskan cruise. So we have a lot of jackets and clothes. These three floor to ceiling uh, closets come in really handy. There are two hooks. You can hang towels, jackets, sweatshirts, whatever. We haven't really needed to use them just because we bring our own magnetic hooks. The magnetic hooks also hold up our lanyards, which have our sale and sign cards on them. Now this is the key to your room and in newer ships, you'll have to insert your sale and sign card in like a slot so that the lights can be used. There's our thermostat. This is an older ship, so this is what it looks like. Do you have to use the restroom? So right here we have our bathroom, which is a nice size bathroom. We have right here to the left, the shower stall, the toilet, of course, and we have the towel rack. We have shelves on this side for all of our toiletries. And on the other side, we have more shelves for more of Amanda's things, like her hair straightener. So in the shower stall, there is a clothesline that you can pull off and hang right here that will allow you to hang wet items like your swimming trunks. Over here we have a nice big open wall so we hung up our over the door organizer to organize some of our gadgets and other little items that don't quite have a place. Um, so this organizer is being held up by these magnetic hooks. The magnetic hooks are also holding up Madison's jacket, her backpack, just a nice little space to keep things organized, and of course her animal magnets to play with. And there is our beautiful little balcony. We'll take you out there in a moment. So here's the light switch, which controls the balcony light. And behind me is the curtain, which when it is closed, it provides a really good amount of darkness. So if you like to nap on your cruise and chill in your room with no light, close the curtain. So the balcony doors do have locks up on top, so you can lock them so your little ones can't go out there by themselves. There is a lock right here as well. And um, just remember when you are opening and closing doors, watch out for little fingers, you know, because these do slam shut. And of course, as a courtesy to your neighbors, make sure you don't let your door slam shut just because no one wants to hear doors slamming shut left and right. So this is our balcony. It's 40 square feet and has two chairs and a table. And it's a great day because we are heading to Alaska. Prior to booking our balcony room, we made sure to look up the smoking section on Carnival's website so that if we were hanging out on our balcony, we would not be smelling smoke of the smoking passengers. And if you are a smoker, keep in mind you cannot smoke on your balcony. So one thing to note is staterooms do not come with irons. So if you need to iron, you'll just find the laundry room on your stateroom floor and there is an iron and ironing board in there. Personally, we just bring along our wrinkle release spray to avoid having to iron. That wraps up our stateroom tour. We hope you felt right at home, but now it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you've ever been on the Carnival Spirit or you'll be sailing on her soon. And if you are interested in learning some stateroom organization hacks, make sure you check out our video on that linked above. Thank you for watching and happy cruising.